Today I want to talk about seller disclosures, the seller edition. I know we talked about seller disclosures for um, from a buyer's perspective, but I just want to talk about it from a seller's perspective. So um, it, it is required for us to complete a set of disclosures for the buyer. Um, and in those disclosures, we are letting the buyer know what's going on with the house. Has, is there anything that's currently not in working order or has impact and value? And has there been anything in the past that potentially was not permitted or uh, you know, you had a roof leak and you had to repair some drywall, That all that information should go in there. And I do run into many times where the seller says, you know, I don't wanna disclose that because I don't want to scare the buyer away or you know, ruin the sale by potentially disclosing something that they don't like. However, what you really don't wanna do is close escrow and then get wrote back in. Let's say um, you have had several roof leaks and you didn't disclose any of them and the new buyers get in the home. Now they're getting used to that mortgage payment. They're finding other little things that aren't perfect about the house because what house is perfect? And the next door neighbor tells them, oh, you know what? The old sellers had to deal with that leak in the roof like 10 different times and they had to keep getting it fixed and this, that, and the other. Now the buyers are angry because that wasn't disclosed and it could potentially come back to rope you guys back in. So I always say, let's over disclose tell them all the scoops so we know we can sleep at night when the deal's done and you let them know everything you possibly know about the house.